Okay, I'm going to talk about the side steps uh, when they dance in the evening. Um, some people call it social dancing. But anyway, me and my wee Sean Ding, that's when you go and give someone a blanket or money to dance with you. But before that happens, um, the women are... There are four songs that the women dance to before the sidestep starts, the sidestep sessions start. And the Ogichidakwe guy talked about uh, well, we got the head lady and then the four, four sets of women and uh, the ones that are also the tail. They all get up and dance those four songs. And once they have gone all the way around completely, then other women who are visiting can join in and help our women in dancing these songs. And also at this time, this is where the women are also able to shab away. That's where they sing. Um, they do some nasal singing, that's about the only way I could describe that. And they all join in and singing, and after their songs are sung, then they start to, they start to go out and give blankets to invite people out to dance with them. Usually they get your dark quick start with that. And when they come and give you a blanket, you're gonna get up and dance with them. Dance around a circle and do that sidestep side step dancing. And once you're done, then you wanna go back and give them, return an item, give them, the, give them an item. If you don't have a, a blanket, a quilt to give to them, then you can give them uh, in return at least $10 or more. Uh, to pay for these blankets. So you gotta remember that there's a lot of work that went into these blankets, so be as generous as you can when they come to give you a blanket. Also, they can also can come and give you a cloth at that time. And the cloth has to be two to three yards long at least. It has to be that long to be useful to our Anishinaabe women to help them so that to make sure that there's enough material there, enough cloth there for them to make a blanket from it. If it's any smaller than that, they wouldn't have no use for the cloth. Also, a cloth is never given to a man. I have seen men to, you know, who have received, uh, refused when they were handed a cloth during this side step dancing. Um, the other thing to remember with these dancing is sometimes don't bring in miscellaneous stuff. And one time I went to a dance where they were having a side step and what they did is they came over and gave me a plastic cup, one of those with a handle. And that's all they gave me. Evidently, that person must have went shopping at Walmart and picked up uh, miscellaneous, miscellaneous junk. Don't do that. Um, you can use wild rice. Go out to give somebody wild rice to dance with you, or you can give them beadwork or maple syrup. Um, and make sure everything that you give out is clean. Uh, it's not torn. There's been times where I've gone to where they've had side steps, and I usually come in my quilts, some nice ones, give them away, and on return, sometimes I'll be given blankets that I just refuse to pass on to anybody else. They're either so dirty or so small. Uh, and I refuse to pass those on to anybody. So be careful on what you bring in for these dances. Don't just give anything away. 
make sure it's clean. And then this is where, on these side steps, this is where our people used to give away horses. You see, they would give you a small stick and bring it over to you and ask you to dance with them. And that small stick signifies that you are being given a horse. And the old lady that raised me always said she always wanted to make sure she had plenty of beadwork on hand. Finished beadwork, she sold these bandolero bags. For that reason, she said, uh, if they should ever come to give us a horse, she said, I want to make sure I have enough beadwork collected up to match the value of that horse. So that's why she always uh, did a lot of the sewing of those bandolier bags. And, and on and off, I see them, you know, they're out there. I can recognize their sewing. The other thing they did also, if you, were, if you got up there too late, you know, we have somebody, maybe you give somebody a blanket to dance with you and you get up there too late and the, the song has ended already. That's when they used to holler out and call those our late, they call them Buanak, Buanak, which is, uh, they jokingly would, would call them that, which means Sue. And um, they also, when they're up there, when they get up there too late, they used to have a, what they call a cow dance that was done. There was a song, especially for that occasion, those two that got up there too late had to, had to dance that song, and that's where they mimic or copy what a cow would do as they dance. So that would happen. Also, at some point then, during the course of those side steps, the dancing, they would serve sandwiches, um, finger food mostly. Um, feed everybody during the night, and then at that time, the speaker would get up and thank all of those that came to the dance, and also ask that everybody had to say that everybody have a safe journey home. And also at that time, most of the time, they would announce the date of the next dance, the next time that that drum would be used. And it was the, the drum armors who decided how many more songs, when, this, when the dance would be over. Maybe they'd say four more songs. And then there was, there's always that one special last song that they sing where everybody gets up to dance, and which is the ending song that was put there. Me so much the way we've been